Hey children, we're back! But see, season two, I say it's been a while. It's been a while. This is actually a story time. You're, you know, I'm, I'm actually so scared of telling this story because, like, I don't know who might be watching this thing. And next thing I know, like, it gets to, like, my mom or some shit. And then it's awkward for all of us. So basically, the story time is about how I thought I was going to prison. Basically, the story takes place outside of a certain club in a certain street in a certain Johannesburg Which I would not mention because people know what I'm talking about Anyway, I was we were, we were in the club and I was like sloshed as yo guys I was so drunk like I was out of it out of it out of it So I'm just there like with my friends and we're just dancing and doing like the, the good things and then It was time to go home. Yeah, it was time to go home and it was like two ish two five past two in the morning so we get in we get out of the, the the club and then like we're chilling outside the you know like talking to people socializing or whatnot and then i see this human being some like child uses drunk you can blame this on alcohol go shoot your shot if you're getting curved it's fine we'll see you in the morning yeah i go to this person and then i'm just like hey what's up what's popping listen i like you and like i want to hang out with you like you know like i like you like that and i like Oh, and also, I decided, you know what? Making is not good enough. Shutting a kiss during the people. There. You know, like, it's deep, right? Like, it's, I'm talking, like, like days of our lives, kiss and dust. I want to lay. Yeah, I want to, like, heavy, man. In the, in the emotion, in the passion, in the feeling. So, like, I'm there, like, we're just dipping and doing and having this great kiss. And then this person's like, actually, listen. Do you wanna like take the corner? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we we like move onto the corner and then we just get there and we like continue making out, continue making out, continue making out. And then our things are getting heated. Like hands are down areas where hands should not be in public, and like things are being grabbed, things are being pulled. Mm. So yeah, now things like like I'm touching, we're touching, touching, like grabbing, grabbing things. And then this human being thinks it's smart to to go down there. Wait, like they go down and they like stop. I'm drunk. In my defense, I was sloshed as a mother, so I couldn't say anything. So I, I let it happen. I let it happen. And then like like mid situation, mid situation, we hear a young. Guys, the cops came and like the person was busy all the way. The person was busy all the way down there, and then like the guy just came out of the car and he's like, What are you guys doing? Yo! That's it. I was freaked out. I was freaked out. I was, yo! Like I was going through it all. So I'm just like, No. Um, uh, we're sorry, we, we're waiting for our car, blah, 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 blah. And then the guy was like, you know what, get dressed. You're going, you, you're going to the station. I'm like, yo, that's it, yo. Like, how do you explain to your mother that you were caught doing things you should not, first, you should not be doing at all. Secondly, you're doing it in public. Like, what is wrong with you? So I was like, yo, no, it's going to be very awkward. It's going to be very, very tense. So we, we speak to this person, speak to this person. And then, like, he's not having it, hey? He's not having it. It's just like, listen, you are going to the station. This is public indecency. So I'm like, yo, Modim. Yo, 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 lead. So like, we're there and then like, the guy's just like, listen, we don't have to go to the station. Like, hook me up with the young something, yeah. 
So I'm like, okay, sharp, like, yeah, whatever. And then I'm like, I don't have a lot of money on me, but I have like a hundred bucks. And it's like, ah, we are done. You're going to prison. I'm like, yo, okay, now it's getting tense. So like, I had to like go back to my friends and be like, yo, guys, I need money. So all in all, I gave the guy a cold drink money of like 500, which does not make sense because a cold drink does not cost that much, but it was my freedom. So I am taking it and I am moving with it. So yeah, basically that's actually how I almost went to prison. I genuinely, genuinely thought I was going to prison. I don't know why I'm telling you guys the story, but I really feel like you guys need some juice because I've been away for so long. So yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to comment in the comment section down below what you should like me to do in the next video till then thank you so much for watching hope to see you next time Bye bye